pushing for the devaluation of the Naira had been hoping the central bank was going to cave into their demand by making some adjustments after the Monetary Policy Committee meeting on Tuesday. But they were all disappointed when Central Bank Governor Godwin Emefiele emerged from the meeting with no change in the position of the CBN on the issue. I wish I had the dollars. I wish our reserves were as high as 50, 60, even 40. We will not be in this. It's because we have limited resources and we will need to continue to say, let us prioritize the use of these limited resources for the good of our country. That is what we are doing. It's a decision that does not sit too well with investment banker Johnson Chuku, who has been pushing for the devaluation of the Naira and less data controls on the forex market. The executive arm of government is still reluctant to accept devaluation as a necessary a tool to open up the market. So for that reason, I, in as much as I wanted or I expected that the Monetary Policy Committee would devalue, but I also knew that they were not going to go directly against the position of the president. Indeed, President Mohamed Buhari is not heeding his aversion for devaluation. He's made it clear he's yet to be swayed by the argument of those pushing for it. But the Naira has continued to slide against the dollar in the unofficial parallel market, reaching an all-time low of 303 Naira to the dollar on Wednesday, even though the official rate remains 197 to the dollar. The slide has been mainly driven by scarcity of dollars. Nigeria has seen its dollar earnings reduced by about 70% as a result of the fall in the global price of crude. Proponents of devaluation like Chuku say the gap between the official and unofficial Naira to dollar rate is too wide and there's every need to strike an equilibrium. I want to believe that the CBN and the Monetary Policy Committee, the Minister of Finance, and other economic management team, we need to sit down with the President and explain that there is no way we can make this economy competitive if we do not devalue the currency. There's no way we bring in foreign direct investments. We cannot bring in portfolio investors. So we can't stabilize the exchange rate if we do not adjust uh, the midpoint of the exchange rate. Nigeria has seen its reserve drop to about $28 billion as a result of its policy of using it to defend the Naira. With oil prices not showing any sign of picking up, things may still get worse for Africa's largest economy and the CBN governor is urging people to tighten their belts. We are in an era where the drop or the low crude price will remain for a long time with us. It's not going to be like in 2008, 2009, where it was just transient for about eight months. So far, we've seen this for almost about 14 months now, and there's no green light yet at the end of the tunnel. I'd like to appeal that, yes, some of these actions or policies may be painful, but they are being taken for the good of our people and the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians must remain paramount. Most analysts believe the government may not be able to hold out for too long and that it would be forced to devalue if the price of oil continues to remain low and for a longer period as the CBN governor alluded to there. Deja Badmo, CCTV. Lagos, Nigeria.